And welcome back, this is Bella with an episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 3. I'm joined, as always, by my trusty squad of Abel, Novin, Bloon, and Sackman. It looks like Bloon is still blind, but that's okay. Because blind doesn't attack magic, or affect magic, I should say. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm a little nervous today because I'm not sure if I can beat this boss and I don't want to do this dungeon over again. Uh, I think I need to go... No. It's further left. Still further to the left. So let's keep going to the left and we need to head up these stairs. And we are outside. Wow, okay, so we go along the branches now that we're outside, which is weird. Uh, yeah, the enemies don't change now that you're outside. In fact, neither does the battle screen. It's the same. It looks like there's a treasure chest out here. And inside it we get a phoenix down, which is pretty much the game telling me you're gonna die. And inside the tree we go. And in here, pretty much the same. Is this is this an infinite healing? No. Of course it wouldn't be. Over here we get an elixir. Come on. Why doesn't the water heal me? I know it wants to. So let's head up this way into another fight. Is it just me or is, has the... Uh, Encounter rate gun way up in this dungeon. Okay, up here we get a rune bow, which... Do I have anybody on rune? Or, or on the, the bow still? I do! So let's go ahead and put... Isn't it the rune bow? Well, killer bow's better. But I swore. I just got... Whatever. I'm not, I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Can you equip something? No, not really. I mean, fire staff, but... I'm, I'd rather use those than, than hit people with them, you know? So let's head over to the left. And over to the left we find stairs, but not before another battle. Against a new enemy, I don't know what the hell this is. This is a Lamia, which we have seen in previous games. We saw that in uh, Final Fantasy II, I'm sure of it. But it was not nearly as freaky as this one is. What the hell is that? Kill it! Kill it! We got a preemptive strike on the Lamia, so we should be able to, to finish her before before she ever gets a turn in. I'm hoping. Yeah, Abel's starting to do a lot of damage with those swords. We get 310 gil, 210 experience, nobody levels up or anything like that, but that's okay because we're moving on up these stairs. And Hold on for one second. Okay, so I tried it at the level that I was. And I failed miserably. Like, it wasn't even close. It wasn't funny. I didn't rage. I just... Uh, so, I, so I cut that out. And I went back and I changed everybody's job class. Did some level grinding um, before I even entered the castle. Uh, since that's when my latest save was. Uh, everybody is level 20 right now. Um, not that much level grinding, about a half hour's worth or so. Uh, Knight, Geomancer, Scholar, and Ranger. Let's look at everybody's equipment. We got the Solomon Sword and the Freezing Blade on Abel. We got the Diamond Bell on Novin, even though, to be honest, Novin's never going to be using the bell. Um, everything else is the same there, I think. Bloon has the, the Fire and Ice books with the Scholar Hat and Robe. And, uh, yeah... Don't be fooled by by the, the pigtails. They are very manly pigtails. And Bloom is actually in the front row doing melee damage with those books. And then Sackman is now a ranger with the rune bow and iron arrows and uh, flame mail and ice helm. Okay. I think... Wait, do I need to heal anybody? That is one of the downsides. Is that... Well, actually, Abel can cure now. But that's an upside... But, yeah, Novin can't use the black magic anymore, but to be honest, he doesn't need to. Uh, and Bloom can only use the level 1 white magic. But, hopefully this is a proper setup for this boss, because the last one I did did not work at all. Failed miserably. So we meet Hein. Ah, the power of darkness is a thing of beauty, a black tapestry of chaos. A tapestry on which I shall paint an all-encompassing nocturne. 
With this fortress, Argus's sh soldiers, the power of darkness, I will rule the world! Time to die! Then he slashes across the air. And this guy is no pushover. Not even gonna lie. Okay, so we're gonna have you defend. We're... Or, sorry, not defend. Um, actually... Yeah, let, let's have able defend. Um, it should carry over to everybody else as well. Uh, the the Geomancer's special ability is Terrain, which I shall be using a lot. The Scholar can study hind, find a weakness, and Sackman will just be attacking because Barrage is more of a multi-targeting spell. Defend! Nicely done! Did not carry over to anybody else. Barrier shift. Okay, this is this is what's gonna throw you off. He changes his weakness. What is his weakness? Don't know his HP, but his weakness right now is ice. But Novin used wind. That's okay. Still does a massive amount of damage. Look at that damage. All right, so the weakness is ice. So I am hoping, 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 hoping to get an Antarctic win off. Let's go for terrain again. Um, you go for the Antarctic wind as well. And you just attack. Yes! Getting it off before he uses the barrier shift again. How much damage is this going to do? 1500 damage! There we go. Oh, an Ice Storm from Novin! Damn. Blind. Oh, I was blinding everybody. And, oh, blinded. Cable and Novin. Damn you. 100 more damage in. Another Antarctic win, which is awesome because he still has not barrier shifted. Does not do nearly as much. Alright, so. You're not going to be using the Antarctic wind anymore. You're going to be. You're on cure duty right now. You know what? No. Abel's on cure duty. He's got cure. He can handle it. We'll go for terrain. Um. Yeah, you go for a regular attack. You've got you've got an ice book on you. Let's see how much damage that ice book does. I shouldn't be using the books. That was a bad idea. Why'd you guys tell me to do that? Confuse. Oh, you dick. Don't. Thank you. No win. Oh, no one comes with ice storm again. Go ice storm. Another 700 damage. Nice, nice, nice. All right, another cure. Or. Er, first cure, actually, of, of the battle, but still. Defend. Uh, terrain. You use the Antarctic Wind because it's awesome when scholars use items. And then you just attack. Just keep doing what you're doing, Zachary. Exactly. From his knees, Abel is still able to defend. Oh, poison. Don't you dare. Oh, it got Sackman. You poisoned my Sackman. Oh, Ice Storm, though. Ice Storm is gonna wreck your day. Down goes Hein! Nice. So, for that battle, we get 4,300 gil, 866 experience, Abel levels up, and gets a job level. Novin gets a job level, Sackman gets a job level, and no items. What are you gonna do? There's not always going to be items. And down goes Hein! Whoa, an earthquake! Not another one! Oh, snap! Thank you, warriors of the light! The walls, they speak! I am the elder tree of the living woods! Hein had put a curse on me to do his bidding. But you have freed me from his bonds. Thank you again, warriors of the light! I will now free the people held captive within me and return them to where they belong. Then I will go back to the living woods once again. Awesome. Sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Now it is time to return. Everybody's freed already? That was quick. So where are we going? Oh, the living woods. I am back. I belong. Thank you for your help, young ones. What happened to the spring? Here, take this. Use it when the power of darkness stands in your way. You've saved the living wood. Thank you. Gimme, gimme, gimme. 
And then we get the Fang of Wind! Awesome! Once again, it's a special item, though. <laughs> what are you gonna do? I will now sleep until the wounds that hide inflicted upon me heal themselves. For a thousand years I shall sleep, and none shall be able to enter these woods until I awaken. Young ones, it is no coincidence that this floating continent was born a thousand years ago, when the darkness engulfed the world. And that you have been chosen to become the warriors of the light a thousand years later. Young ones, you must leave this floating continent, and go to the world of darkness, the surface world. I don't wanna... The surface world? You must make haste! If you do not go now, it will be a thousand years until you may go again. Goodbye. Goodbye and good luck. Awesome. So, can we go? Yeah. See, look. Now we can't go in there anymore. So it's been sealed off. Hold on for one second, though. It does look like that's going to do it for this part of Let's Play Final Fantasy III. I've been Bala Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by my trusty potty of Abel, Noman, Bloon, and Sackman. Hope you guys have enjoyed this part. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.